For me, I can't go back. As soon as you're an adult and you're in control of your own schedule, you kind of have a case of the fuck it. I can never go back. Hello and welcome to this week's One Week Challenge in Ironclad Original presented by 10,000. Matt Frazier, known as one of the most dominant CrossFit athletes of all time. He's also the creator of the Hard Work Pays Off training program and commands over 2.5 million followers on social media. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Frazier. Well, hey, listen, man, we appreciate you jumping on with us. Um, and as you know, we talked a little bit about this before, but um, at One Week Challenge, we like to take on people that are making impact in the world, achieving great things, and get into their mind a little bit by asking if you were to issue our, our listeners a one week challenge that would impact their lives, what would it be? You know, I have a hundred different things running through my head. Um, and, you know, each one of them kind of pertain to, you know, a different output. You know, what, what is your end goal? But the one that's coming to mind that I think will apply to just about everything, and this is, it's going to sound silly, but having a strict uh, bedtime and wake up time, you know, it doesn't matter what you do, what you're doing during the day, you know, for myself, when I was training, I had a bedtime and a wake up time. Once I figured out the power of sleep and that it didn't just contribute to uh, my physical performance, but like just, just being you know, emotionally stable, clear headed, be able to, you know, make the correct decisions. It's the type of thing that, you know, it's so heavily enforced when you're young with a bedtime and stuff like that, that as soon as you're an adult and you're in control of your own schedule, you kind of have a case of the fuck it's and you're like, ah, you know, I can get through tomorrow without, you know, a full eight hours or 10 hours, but it compounds over time. And you hear so many people talking about, oh, I can't go to bed that early, you know, I'm laying there wide awake. And it's like, well, it's a vicious cycle. The later you stay up, the later you sleep in. And then the next night you stay up even later because you slept in later. So for me, I can't go back. Once I, once I discovered what a full night sleep does for me, I can never go back to cutting it down to, you know, four or five hours and, you know, shitty sleep quality. I love it. We haven't had one on sleep yet. That one's great. Um, you get a lot out of that. You get discipline and you get the benefits of the sleep. When I was training, it was, um, you know, I never, never up before 8 a.m. You know, usually sleep, sleep until 9 or 10, just until I'm not tired. As soon as I retired from competing, it then became like, oh, I don't need to sleep for any reason. I can burn the candle at both ends. Hell, I can hold a lighter in the middle, too. Um, and then it just caught up to me. And it was and it's not just like being drowsy during the day, but then you look back. And you look at like the decisions you made or how you reacted to situations when you were tired and you're like, what the fuck was I thinking? Like that was so irrational or, you know, not called for, um, you know, so for me, I know when, when I have full night sleep and a regular sleep routine, you know, I'm calm, cool, collected, making rational decisions. You know, I'm not snapping at people. Um, and then on top of it, my physical performance goes through the, goes through the roof as well. It's one that needs to be reminded to, and I appreciate that you're doing it now, even when you're not competing, um, because you get so much out of it in everything in life. Love it, man. Well, we appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks a ton, Matt, and thank you for that awesome challenge. I'm going to set my alarm going to bed. I'm going to set my alarm waking up. It's a good one. Listen, this week, as always, brought to you by 10,000. I know I talk about this, but you look good in these shorts. You look good lunging, you look good squatting, and you look good walking. I'm a 32, I wear size medium, they fit me really well. We're gonna give you 15% off when you go to this website, 10,000.cc slash OWC15 for 15% off. I know you've seen them all over the internet. Buy them, you won't regret it. All right, everybody, that'll do it for this week. We'll see you next time for a brand new one week challenge.